about before, which is quite good for introducing what counselling is about and how it can help. That's right. That's a huge bag of worries. That's for the the little girl has got the the bag that's tripping her up. Yeah. And you're the little old lady, so Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's hard for us to imagine that, isn't it? Well, but okay. Thank you. All right. And this one is um, a way to explain death to children. The idea being that everything in nature had a, has its own lifetime. But, um, yeah. So plants, people, birds trees, animals, insects all have a kind of amount of time that they tend to live for. And even Play-Doh. Wow, mm. that's quite something you've created there. <laughs> okay, we're just going to... Yes, Schemer's busy with a coffin, let's come back to the books, okay. Yeah, right, so everything, yeah, including people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess you'd be, yeah, working with um, bereavement, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, children have been bereaved. And this is a lovely one for working with children who've been bereaved as well. Um, just trying to remember, Winston's Wish produces it, and it's it's an activity book. So the um, the memory jar idea that I talked about with the salt and the chalk is in in this book as one of a number of activities you can do, and there's all sorts of other activities, some of which I. I'm happy to do in the counselling room and others less so. So there's one that involves baking biscuits, which I've never really got into. Right, okay. But, there might be some um, health and safety things, I <laughs> yeah. guess, if you've got yeah. clients in ovens. And, and if I use this, I would just let the child have a look through and choose whether there were any bits they wanted to fill in. Um, but yeah, other people might sort of work their way through it. Mm. So, it's, And that's a book that you can get from Winston's Wish? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And would the client take that away if they were working on it, or is that yeah, yeah, yeah. That they could maybe have a copy. Or? And I guess with some of these decisions, with some of these things, there's a decision to make about cost. So you know, if a child takes it away, then yes. I'm paying for it, and I'm okay to do that. Um, yeah. But yeah, if a hundred children wanted one, I might change my mind. <laughs> okay. So you'd have to be, well, yeah, thinking about the cost. Yeah. You know? And this is one of a series of books by Margot Sunderland, which are intended to be therapeutic. So this one, I guess, is on the theme of, of self-esteem and about a girl called Ruby who feels rubbish. And a kindly dinner lady helps her out. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's a lady with a very scary face. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Miss, she's little... Miss Fruity Nose, Miss this Fruity. one. Oh, I see. <laughs> right, okay. Right, yeah. Yes. Lovely. Uh, yeah, and this this one I think is a lovely book. It's again on a bereavement theme. Um, I think Fox dies in the story and his friends Rabbit, Mole and I can't remember who that other creature is, um, are grieving for Fox and remembering the things that... Otter. Remembering the things that Fox used to do. And it uses the seasons throughout the story. So I think, yeah, when Fox has just died, it's winter. And then they kind of start to thaw out a little bit. And it, and it comes to spring. Mm. And then by the time it's summer, they're kind of reinvesting in life again. Right. Yeah. I had a child who'd read this, who then went on to write her own story. She'd experienced a bereavement and she created her own characters a bit like this and kind of oh, told the story. Right. So yeah, that was a lovely idea. A lovely project. And that's mm. Alan Durant and illustrated by Debbie Gloria. Mm. Yeah. Well, I think I'm probably not saying that right. But I wouldn't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay.